apologize. Often womanized, took for my child to be born. See through a woman's eyes, took for these natural twins to believe in miracles. Took me to Jay Z's making headlines with the release of his 13th solo album, 444. You just heard a clip from it from the title track. Critics are calling it one of his most vulnerable, honest, self reflecting pieces of work. What does it say about what he's put out before? As well as shedding light on what goes on in blacks uh, in black culture. He shares details on his infidelity to Beyonce, growing up without a father figure, struggles with religion, and his mother's sexuality. Okay, we've got a panel here of, of, of some of the brightest, best-looking people I can find. <laughs> Ariel, let's start here. Give me first names here so we can... Um, yeah, Ariel. Okay. Cameron. Micah. Deborah. Tevin. Okay, Tevin, let's start with you. What did you think of the album? I loved it. I honestly loved it. I think it I love the fact that they, he was able to encompass so many different great music samples from great musicians to be able to create this great album, in my opinion. I loved it. Okay, you like the music, you like that he sampled from, from okay. Uh, shows a lot of growth, that sort of yes, thing. I mean, Bruce, just to piggyback off of what you said, he was very vulnerable, he was very transparent. Um, one thing I can respect him for, and Beyonce, honestly, too, is the fact that they use their music, their art, their craft to address and express their feelings and emotions. They don't, you know, take advantage of social media like some of these other people, classless people, and, um, you know, post screenshots or texts or the Beckys, you know, they'll, <laughs> you know, they handle that in Absolutely. their marriage personally. So. Okay, what do you think? I think that it was nothing short of poetry. Mm -hmm. I think he was very poetic and every single track had a message behind it. You know, he spoke a lot about black culture, you know, our struggles currently and our struggles that we've had in the past that we're still facing. So I think that overall it was hands down complete five stars for me. Um, I think it was a, a definitely a, an adult hip hop album. It was something that, because uh, we've grown up with Jay-Z, like Jay-Z, he's an icon. He's, you know, released 13 previous solo albums. Um, and he taught us a lot. He taught us a lot about building wealth, uh, you know, loving each other within the black culture, supporting each other within the black culture. Um, and really, you know, about in marriage, like how marriage is not just something that's dip like, you know, that's all fun and games all the time, but something that you really have to work at. And he, as he said, it's one of the hardest things he's ever done in his life. Okay. All right. I'm just going to kind of follow up with what you said about it being an adult um, album. I don't necessarily think it was an adult album. I think it was an album more so focused on millennials, encouraging millennials, opening up, talking about issues that we really need to focus on, especially in the black community, focusing on our finances, fo focusing on um, supporting each other, supporting businesses, and setting the setting us up for the next generation. I think that's something that not a lot of people are talking and about. And what did right he now. say about finances in one of the songs? He talked about living rich, dying poor, dying yes. broke. He talked about credit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he mentioned Jewish people in, in, in a very honorable way in, in terms of that's how they built wealth, you know, property, that sort of thing, through credit, that sort of thing. Uh, I, I felt he was talking to a lot, a lot of uh, the extravagance, you know, that's out here in, in the African American community where we, we would just spend our last dollar on, yeah. on, on something to have nothing to account for. It. I and mean, I, th I think that's important also because in the hip hop culture, we oft often see a lot of people like just showing bling and really all about the way it looks and not really focusing on building an empire and building money and growing. And yeah. well, he brought that up and that's important. Well, 50 Cent, you know, tried to, you know, maybe downplay a little bit <laughs> yeah. when he said it was an Ivy League album. And I agreed. I mean, but not in the same sense. It, it was definitely a very conscious album that people needed to listen to and be able to understand that language. That he okay, we didn't to. make it first, but let's not skip over what he talks about in mm -hmm. terms of infidelity, you know, cheating mm -hmm. on, his, on his wife. And he talked oh, about boy. how yeah. he's changed and grown you know, after having children, that sort of thing. Ladies, weigh in on this. What do you think? I don't have time to hear I mean, from you guys. Can Beyonce I get has, has released how many albums saying numerous times how hurt she's been. Mm -hmm. So for us to finally hear him apologize and be so empathetic and genuine and just poetic about it was just so refreshing because here we have this young guy who grew up in the ghetto, you know, so known for being rugged and hard, basically for an hour telling us to appreciate the woman that you've made these vows to mm -hmm. and also giving us, you know, like we said before, insight on importance of investments. Mm -hmm. okay. But I think I think for me it was refreshing, but it was actually also a little bit shocking because the fact that he said that he wasn't able to understand and relate to women until he had his first yeah. child. Yeah. Yeah. That is actually a little disturbing to me because is it going to take that long for a man to understand or be able to relate to me 
Okay, yeah. now we come to you. You want to respond to that? Yeah. You take that long? <laughs> well, well, look, I'm my own man. So, <laughs> I mean, I think, the, I, think the, I think, you know, just with him, because uh, throughout his career, Jay has really, like, kind of had those type of songs where he, he, he maybe mistreated women or did some, you know, did maybe lewd things. But, like, here, he's really, you know, actually taking hold of his responsibility mm -hmm. and okay. taking he's it. Thank you it. all yeah. very much. We can continue this. And we might, off offline, okay? 